Still no word tonight when a National Park Service employee found Tuesday that forced the shutdown of the area around Fort Totten and the metro station. The employee found suspi that well, was sus uh, something suspicious along a stretch of Farragut Street near Fort Totten Drive. That's where you find our Dave Laval. And Dave, plenty of tense moments last night for a lot of folks. What's the latest information you have for us? Good afternoon, Mark. Well, we can tell you this is the area where that employee found the two metal canisters. This is the, the road has since reopened the traffic along with the rest of the park. The Army took the canisters to Marine Corps Base Quantico to find out what's inside them. As for the people who use the park, they're just glad to be back in it. Yeah, they love to come and hang out at this park. Justin Hoy and friends relax at Fort Totten Park. Yeah. I love this park and I think it's a great place to, to visit. That was not the case Tuesday. Emergency responders converged on a stretch of Farragut Street. A National Park employee found two metal canisters, which forced the closure of much of the park, including the metro station. And I'm not worried about it per se, but I guess there is always a chance that you could stumble across something that might be dangerous. I feel calm. I don't feel in danger at all. Clinton Price lives and works across the street from where the canisters were found. I know, I guess growing up in the city, I've seen a lot of more dangerous things than that. I mean, like, I run this store, I've been robbed like eight times, so gunpoints, I mean, this just really don't, don't, don't make me afraid to see this. The canisters are the first discovered in the park in nearly three years. The Park Service found an empty World War One era canister along the Fort Totten Trail back in July 2020. It turned out to be empty. That prompted the Park Service to examine the area around the trail for additional metal canisters. They found none. I'm not really afraid at all. I figure they're going to find it, clear it up, be done. Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton sent a letter to the head of the National Park Service back on February 7th. She requested the agency investigate all of Fort Totten Park to see if there's any more ordinance or groundwater contamination. The Park Service told us in an email late this afternoon, it's st still working to determine the next steps to evaluate the area. We're live at Fort Totten Park. Dave Laval, DC News Now.